Hello everybody, welcome back to another part of the Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. We are picking up pretty much exactly where the last part left off. I have made a last minute decision to kind of switch things up. So, um, if you guys remember, at the very end of the last part, excuse me, I just burped, I'm disgusting. Um, at the very end of the last part, we came home from Egypt to find that we had five puppies. Um, Princess and Tucker had five freaking puppies, which I actually want to point out, I didn't realize this until literally just now, like I pulled the game up to film this and that's when I realized it. They had five puppies because it was a glitch. They were only supposed to have three. So Buffy and Navi are the exact same dog and Sailor and Dixie are the exact same dog. So realistically, we're not supposed to have five. We were supposed to have three. Um, Goose was the only one that didn't get cloned. Um, so yeah, there's an explanation for that. Also in the last part, I did ask you guys um, what dog we should keep, what dog we should get rid of and all that stuff. But I changed my mind yet again. You're gonna think this is crazy, but bear with me. We're gonna keep all of them. Now, I know, crazy, seven dogs, that's wild. Why would we ever do that? But like I said, there's only three parts of this Let's Play next, or left. It's gonna be this part, um, the next part, which in this part, we're gonna play some, like this part is gonna be half at home, half in Egypt with Blake because we need to get rid of the mummy's curse. And then the next part is going to be completely in Egypt with Blake. And then the final part is when I have my little surprise, like that little fun thing we're doing that I just haven't told you guys about. So there's only three parts left and we're gonna be traveling for like two and a half of those three parts. So we're not really gonna be home to deal with seven dogs. And also when we transition from generation four to generation five, this household is going to split up. So obviously Taryn, she is taking over the family. She's our main focus for generation five. She is going to, you know, move out and she's gonna take two of the seven dogs. So I wanted to take two of the puppies and I like the idea of her taking like one like little skinny puppy and one of these like fluffier chunky puppies. Right now, this isn't set in stone, so I might still change my mind, but right now I think she's gonna take Goose and Sailor is kind of what I'm leaning towards. Again, I might change my mind, I might not, we'll see, honestly. And then Blake and Stevie are also going to finally move out. Blake and Baylor have lived together legitimately their entire lives, except for I think there's a short amount of time where Baylor was at school and Blake was not, but I think other than that, they have lived together for their whole entire lives. So Blake is going to be like, you know what, it's time, like I need to move out, get on my own, like Stevie's almost grown and moved out and once she leaves, it'll just be like me living with my brother and his family and that's weird. So Stevie and Blake are also going to be moving out and they will get a place of their own and they are going to take Princess and Tucker and then one of the three remaining animals. I'm thinking it's going to be Buffy. Again, I might change my mind on these animals, but I think it's going to be Buffy. So then that leaves Baylor, Lau, and Yuri in this house, and that leaves Dixie and Navi for them to keep. So yes, seven dogs in a house, that's really wild, but in the end, it's gonna be, we're gonna split up into households and it's gonna be two to three dogs per household. So really not that wild, but like kind of wild. Anyways, um, like I said, we're playing part of this at home and then part of this in Egypt. Blake has the mummy's curse that we need to lift. Um, I do, I'm going to be honest, I need to Google it because I don't remember how to do it. Um, so that is what we're going to be focusing on for the second half of this part. And then the next part, we're going to be focusing on lifting her mummy's curse before she dies because she will literally die in 14 days if she doesn't. But she goes to work today and I don't know why, for some reason, I really want to send her to work. I guess I just want to keep them like home for a little bit because again, I haven't been home like at all, honestly. And Taryn is just checking her online dating profile. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did that literally at the very end of the last part, so that was kind of pointless, but we're gonna um, check out some profiles anyways, and I might send her and try to have her, um, who are you, Buffy? I might try to have her um, meet some people organically. We're gonna scold for being destructive. 
Okay, males. Again, I don't remember who I already sent a message to or not because I know I sent a message to a couple people. Also, I will say with this town, I really love this town, but why do they all look the same? Like, <laughs> half of them have the same shirt, half of them have the same hair. Like, at least their facial structure is different, but like, geez, honestly, not even that different. He's got like a different nose and a different skin tone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, um... Also, totally random, in my Rags to Riches challenge, this guy has a long ass beard. Like, it's long, okay? Anyways, um, I guess we're gonna send a message to Frankie. I don't know if we've already sent a message to him or not, but we're just gonna go ahead and send a message to Frankie. We're gonna scold Buffy for being destructive because that's not okay. Oh my god, who's over here destroying things? Who are you? Navi? Stop it. We gotta teach you guys scold for being destructive and she should be off to work here any minute now yes she is off to work so she gets off at seven so when she comes home i will have her um that's when we'll travel to the next town or not next town to egypt Jeez louise i wonder oh my gosh they can try for puppies again we're not gonna do that we're absolutely not gonna do that i just find it so funny um, and I do want to check aging. So Princess has five days till she's an elder. Tucker has 22 days till he's an elder. The dogs also, they're aging just Buffy for whatever reason. Their aging is one day off. They should have seven, but Buffy has six for whatever reason. The twins have five days till they're elders. Lau has 16 days till she's an elder. Taryn has 30 till she's an adult. Stevie has four till she's a teenager. And Yuri has five till she is a child let me see actually so she is not potty trained and Taryn is the only one home so I'm gonna have her um, take care of Yuri that is her little sister her half sister but still her sister um, so she can go ahead and take care of her it's not that big of a deal we'll potty train her and then I think we're just gonna feed her on the floor cuz you know I don't want to go through all that trouble of putting her in the high chair and everything um, oh, also, again, don't know if I addressed this in the last part, but she has the wish to join the military career, and I just went ahead and locked it in because since her lifetime wish and, um, her lifetime wish and the next generation or season or whatever is seasons, um, and it doesn't have, like, a career-driven thing. I figured we'd just let her be in whatever job she wants to be. Like, it really doesn't matter. So, um, I'll let her join the military career. That is totally fine by me. Oh, my God. Buffy, did I not just scold you for this? Go scold his ass, and then you can use this bathroom since you'll be up here. I legitimately just scolded you for this. Okay, he's on his way home. She gets off at 3. Stevie's on her way home. Girl, go to work. What the hell? She's like, I gotta Google how to get rid of this curse. That's what she's doing. She's like, I gotta figure this ish out. Um, where'd Buffy go? This is Buffy. Okay, you can actually scold because you're closer. So I'll just get rid of that one. And let's see. I'm pretty positive she's gonna take Sailor and Goose. So let's go build your relationship with them. Um, we will let Goose sniff your hand, feed him a treat, talk. They're all females, actually, so not him. Her. Feed her a treat. Oh my gosh. This is <laughs> way too goddamn much. She's like, what the hell? I left and I had two dogs and I come home and I have seven? Excuse me? Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm so sorry. Yuri, let's see. You know how to talk but not walk. That's weird. I usually always teach walking first, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, go ahead and teach her how to walk because she does need to learn that. You are doing pretty good um, needs-wise. You can go ahead and come home and like grab something to eat. Fill the food bowl because we only have one, so <laughs> we're going to be going through that quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have Taryn kind of build her relationship with the two puppies that I plan on her keeping. Oh my god, this little fucking bitch. Navi, stop it. Stop doing your homework for one second to scold this bitch for being destructive. Okay. You're going to feed a treat, talk to a couple times, and then feed another treat. I don't want to do too much 
because they do get anno like mad at you very easily if you do the same interaction too many times. So don't want to do it too much. What is this? Improve your writing skill. Sure. After you do your homework, you will come practice your writing until your skill improves. All right. Goose is so freaking cute. I love her. She's the only original, okay? Everyone else has a... Tucker, what the hell? Stop. I hate these animals. Scold for being destructive. I literally just got them, and I'm like, they're too much. They're three hours old. Okay. Goose, how's it coming? Oh, and also, I want to throw this out there. If you want me to change any of the dog's names, like, I'm 100% here for it. I literally just, like, any... Oh, my fucking God. There's another one chewing on my shit. Who are you now? Navi, didn't we just... We literally just yelled at you, Navi. Scold for being destructive. Like, I'm not... I'm not having it. No. No, sir, no, ma'am. No, whatever the hell you are not having it oh my god this one is fucking chewing on it too buffy why are you home bitch go the fuck to work why are you home i'm so annoyed scold really quick and then sailor's over here you need to come let sailor smell you what are you doing okay clean this up mop this up just get out of the way, honestly. <laughs> Just get out of the damn way. Bitch, go the fuck to work before I beat your ass. Does she not have a place of work? You work here. Why can't you go to work? Oh my gosh, hold on. Teleport and go to work. I don't know who you think you are. Uh-uh. Why can't you get there? Was that so goddamn hard? I'm sick of her. <laughs> she makes me sick. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty, guys. So, you're probably thinking, what the heck just happened? That was a super random jump. Um, the first half of this video that you watched was filmed like two days ago. My game decided to crash after you saw that. I don't know. I... There's something up with this family. Sorry, you guys know the freaking fiance interruptions. Anyways, um, yeah, my game decided to crash. I think there's something up with this family because you guys know a couple videos back I had major issues with the save files, so we had to move to the new town early because I put them in a new save file, and I'm still having these issues. And yes, I have my issues with all of my games, but this save file, like this family specifically, I have the worst issues with. So anyways, we are here. We are in Egypt. Oh, excuse me. And uh, this man decided to come chat it up with Blake. And, you know, I know that we decided that Blake was going to be single for the rest of the time on this Let's Play, but... It doesn't mean she can't ever, like, be with anybody. And they did hit on each other. I closed out of the notification already, but they were like, you know, oh, you're you're so attractive. I'd love to get to know you better. They did do that thing. So there's no harm in, like, getting to know him while she's here. We have 14 days before her mummy's curse. So I think I want her to actually hook up with him. It's been a while. She hasn't been with anybody in a really, 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 really long time. So we're just gonna go for it, honestly. And again, we have 14 days, so I'm not too worried about like, oh my gosh, we need to hurry, we need to rush and get this mummy's curse figured out. And we're also traveling for eight days, so if it's something that does take a while to figure out, like the last tomb, bitch, you have a girlfriend? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Why are, why are Taryn and Scarlet here? What the hell? I hate that. Oh, you have an old girlfriend. It's okay. You can cheat on her. It's fine. Um, he's 53. God damn. He's like a fresh young adult. I don't even care. I don't even care. Who cares? Um, anyways, what was I saying? Is that a flower? It is. It looks so weird. Um, yeah, we're just gonna like hook up with him, honestly. 
because why not? Who cares? Uh, compliment him, boast about her good looks, ask about his gender preference. Um, and then we'll go in with a wink and see how he takes it. Oh, he loved it. He's like, stop, you're winking at me. Yeah, compliment him. Mm. Compliment him again. Flirt with him. He's like, you are weird. We're going to wink at you again. See, like, he takes the winking, but he doesn't like anything else. Let's blow him a kiss, maybe? Oh, he loved it. He loved it. He was all about that. Okay, um, flirt with him. See, he's... He's being such a jerk because we're not good friends. Okay, let me make them good friends really quickly. It'll actually go really fast because, uh-oh. No, no, no. This is exactly what my game, okay. Whew, that gave me a literal heart attack. Sorry, my puppy is running around. That is exactly what my game did a couple days ago that made it crash. So I was a little nervous. Um, all right, we'll just speed through this really quickly. Make them good friends. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Good friends. All right. And go ahead and flirt. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so flirt, compliment, appearance, compliment. Oh, my God. Stop. Compliment personality. Give him an amorous hug. Flirtatious joke. She is such a floozy. I love her. She's like, you have a girlfriend? Well, you know, I don't. So who cares? All right. And why can't they have their first kiss? I guess we're going to do a heat of the moment kiss because it won't allow her to have their first kiss, which is weird. But he was all for it. I mean, are we surprised? Like, literally, are we surprised? Oh, my God. Sorry. My dog is going ham. Um, she has a cheater reputation, which I think is a little bit bullshit. Okay. Like, she's not in a really late... It, Oh my gosh she's not in a relationship with anybody she doesn't have a romantic interest like nothing he is her one and only you know like yeah she knows he has a girlfriend and she's still doing it but like she isn't cheating on anybody that's a horrible way to look at it you guys i just want to say very against cheating even if you're single and you know someone has a girlfriend you're a cheater okay i just <laughs> I'm just saying, for the sake of Blake, because we all love Blake, okay? She gonna get some in this tent. Are you guys gonna get started, or? <clears throat> there we go. For like half a second, I did consider doing a risky woohoo instead, but that tends to always get them pregnant in my game, and I really don't want Blake to have another kid. <laughs> I do not want her to have that last minute, like, you know, super, super old and has a baby kind of situation. Okay, so I'm going to get Blake nice and prepped for her journey. So we're going to um, eat, use the bathroom, take a shower, and I need... I really don't want to go and like... Um, you know, we're going to have to go buy a tent. I really didn't want to do this, but we're going to have to. So visit the market, buy a tent, and then we will be off to try and, um, <clears throat> to try and, uh, what is this called? Fix? Cure? Cure. Cure the mummy's curse. There we go. Uh, we're going to go do that. We'll probably get started on it in this part, but we will have to use the next part to finish it just because um, I just... Hi, Dixie. You want some attention? My puppy is all up on me. Um, I think... I don't know what one... Is this bitch telling a ghost story? Because everyone's like, oh my God, let's go over here. I think this is... Yeah, this is food. That's like books. So we want to... Ow, come over here and buy. Ah, oh, she's got such sharp claws. Oh my God. Oh wait, no. Is this a tent? Actually, I think we want this one. No, not browse. Oh my gosh. I think we want this one because I'm pretty sure the tent's right there. So yeah. Okay. Anyways, did she just like call every single person in existence over to the 
to the freaking uh, chess match because like everyone just showed up. No. Okay. So we're going to come by a tent. She wants to kiss him. What's his name? <laughs> um, Amin. Okay. She wants to kiss Amin. All right. We're going to buy this and we'll get two showers in a can just in case. Oh my God. That ringing is so goddamn annoying. Ignore your call. Okay. So we officially have everything we need. Um, and I actually need to Google this because I'm an idiot and I forgot. Oh. Sorry, I was watching TikTok. Um, yeah, I need to Google this, so give me one second and I will be back. Okay, so it actually sounds like it's a lot easier than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be like a long kind of something. So there's two ways to do it. There is snake charming, um, and eventually once you charm enough snakes, you can charm a king cobra, and then once you charm it, you get the chance to kiss it, which will cure the mummy's curse. And the other one is to sleep in a special, I don't know how to say this word, so I'm not going to try. Um, it's the things that the mummies come out of. Sleep in a special one of that. Um, they are white with metal, the metal relief of the pharaoh is gold. So white and gold. Um, and it says there's one in the bottom level of the Sphinx dungeon. So we need to come to the great Sphinx. Plead to the... Oh, we're going to plead to the Sphinx because I want to know what that is. Um, but we're going to come here and we're going to do that and we're going to get to the bottom level and we can sleep in the coffin. The coffin. It's not vampires. It's mummies. We're going to sleep in whatever it's called. Again, I know I'm going to butcher it, so I don't even want to try. <gasps> That's how you charm a snake. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice cracked. Um, I think we're also going to do snake charming anyways just because it sounds really fun and it's something I've never done. But I want to 100% make sure I do this right and get her cured before she dies. So we're going to do this first and then um, and then we'll switch on over to Snake Charming. I just also want to see what the hell this is. Like, hold on. She's so freaking cute. All right. And then we're going to go inspect. What is going on? She's levitating what the heck what was that <gasps> whoa okay so I'm wondering would we have been able to get in if we didn't do that or is that just another way to get in that was crazy. That was really cool. Oh, and now it's frozen and not working and being laggy. Oh my gosh. Where's she going? Girl, what? Okay. Um, obviously, we need to come stand on this. Oh. See the way she walked around it? She said, you're not going to fool me. Okay, go over here. Girl, get in the water. Why can't you get in the water? Girl, you're so annoying. You get back out of the water. And then you're going to push that to shut the fire off. Oh, wait, stop. And then push it once. No! All right, fine. It doesn't really matter, I guess. And then pull this far. And push once. Boom. And pull far. Alright. And we're going to come inspect these. We'll get both of them. We'll collect all these things. Oh, there is actually one more thing I need to do at home. Um, it has to do with all of this stuff. So when you have, like, the right amount and everything, um, you can, like, oops. you can reconstruct, but only at home. So that is something we're also going to do probably in the next part. They're actually, so I know I said in the last part there was only three more parts left, including that current part. There actually might have to be, 
now three more parts left, like this part and then two more. Um, we'll see though. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat some food and she is very, very tired. So we're gonna place this. Really? Oh, there we go. All right. We're going to place it right there, and she is going to go to bed for the night. So I actually think I'm going to end this part here. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. In the next part, we will be finishing this tomb, breaking the mummy's curse, um, and then also looking into snake charming. And then, depending on where we are time frame wise, we will also travel home and reconstruct all of those things in our inventory. So that's kind of the plan for the next part. Um, again, I might have to split it up into two just because it is a lot, or I might just have one really long video. We'll see what I'm feeling, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting down below, and subscribing if you have not already. And really quickly, I want to say, by the time I actually post this video, the day I hit it is kind of come and gone, but thank you guys so much for 650 subscribers. That is, like, literally mind-blowing to me. Like, my channel has been growing so fast this year. It's actually crazy. Um, I have been getting, the past two years, I got, like, 100 subscribers over the entire year and you guys got me 50 in two months which is insane to me like I literally don't even believe it I feel like I'm gonna wake up one day and my subscriber counts gonna be like 601 because like I just don't believe it so thank you guys so much I really do appreciate that I may not vocalize it super often but I truly do appreciate each and every one of you but anyways before we get sappy I'm gonna go ahead and go thank you so much for watching and I will see your lovely lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys!